Hello all, let's start with chapter 10, design for fabrics and apparel. Now, in this we are going to study first, what do we mean by personality? It is the sum of all that is expressed through person's face, physique, posture, language, disposition. According to that, there are five types of personalities. The person who is having the perfect personality means neither tall nor thin nor heavy nor short nor cylinder. Second type of persons, tall and thin. Third, tall and heavy. Fourth, tall, short and heavy. Fifth, short and cylinder. Next, we talk about elements of arts, line, color, texture and form. We are going to study one by one. First of all, line. What do we mean by line? It is a distance between two dots. It is having five aspects. First, shape of the line, straight or curved. Straight line gives the impressions of dignity and formality. They are formed by fabric weaves and prints. Curved lines. They can also add fullness to the body. They are found in necklines, collars, sleeves and skirts. You can see this picture. Next, we talk about the directions of the lines. The line may be vertical, which will add height to the body and make it appear cylinder. It may be horizontal, which emphasizes the width and make the figure, figure appear shorter. Next, diagonal lines. The lines may have cylindrical or broadening effect that depend upon the angle of slant. They are usually found on necklines. Broken lines shortens the length of long and straight lines and make the person appear fatter. Width of line could be thick or thin. Thick lines adds width to a figure while thin lines add slimming effect. Next, clarity, the clear and diffused lines. Some lines in the garments are apparent while others are diffused in the design. Clarity of princess lines used for stitching kameez helps the person appears slimmer. Next, we talk about the color. Color can be studied in the form of hue, value and intensity. Hue is a name which is given to any color. There are warm hues. They are called advancing colors. Example, red, orange, yellow. There are cool hues. They are called receding colors. They are derived from water and sky like green and blue. They create the illusion of moving backward. We talk about intensity. It is described as the brightness and the dullness of the color. High intensity colors like bright and pure and strong, where low intensity colors are dull and weak. Bright colors make the body appear larger, dull colors make the body appear smaller. Value Value is described as lightness and the darkness of the color. When white is added to any color, it becomes light. This is called tint. When black is added to any color, it becomes darker. This is called shade. In an outfit, wherever the two contrasting colors or the values meet, that part is emphasized. Along with this, there are three types of colors, primary, secondary, tertiary, in a color wheel. It is there on the top of this slide. Primary colors which can't be provided by adding any other color examples, red, yellow and blue. Secondary colors are made by mixing two primary colors, example orange, green, violet. And tertiary colors are made by mixing one primary color and one secondary color, example red, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, green. According to this, there are various types of color schemes. One by one, monochromatic color scheme or monochromatic harmony. The single hue is used which is varied in value, example red and baby pink. Next, uh, complementary harmony is there where the two hues which are opposite to one another in a color wheel, red, green, yellow and purple. This is called complementary harmony. 
then we talk about achromatic harmony use of neutral colors like black and white a scented neutral is also one of the harmony means one hue and neutral color example gray and red analogous use of two or three hues like red orange orange yellow and orange along with this there is analogous complementary the combination of colors which are next to each other on the color wheel violet red violet triadic color scheme is one tri means three use of three hues which are lying equidistant from one another on a color wheel like red blue yellow split complementary is there three color combinations use of one base color and two secondary colors like blue green red orange next we talk about texture is there texture means to say the feel of cloth it may be coarse fine smooth silky lacy ribbed velvety quilted the fiber and its origin yarn and its construction finish of fabrics all these determine the texture of fabric coarse stiff and bulky and quilted fabrics are velvet corduroy they makes the figure appear broad and large very clingy fabrics reveals the body irregularities on the contrary a moderate amount of stiffness helps an overweight person appears slimmer form lines when combined enclose space and thus create shape and form a combination of different lines forms and shapes make patterns which include big or small prints or checks shape is two dimensional whereas form is three dimensional square rectangle shapes they add stability while circulars they give feeling of movement let's talk about the principles of designs one by one first is balance balance is a state of equilibrium it is defined as equal distribution of weightage from the central point of garment the dress should be balanced both vertically and horizontally balance is of three types symmetrical or formal balance it occurs when the design has equal elements on both the sides this gives the feeling of stability and dignity second asymmetrical balance also called informal balance when details of garment are given on one side and the imaginary vertical lines bisecting the body it differs from those on the other side body irregularities can be camouflaged with the help of informal balance third radial balance which occurs when the elements of design like color line etc radiate from the central focal point in a design next we talk about proportion it is the relationship of parts of garment to one another or to the whole garment generally based on the proportion of golden mean which is represented in the ratio of 3 to 5 is to 8 there are proportion of colors involved means using colors in unequal amount where one color emphasizes the garment line they affect the proportion of an outfit next harmony harmony is created by when all the parts of designs are related and they are used to express the single concept of theme harmony can be created when there is a place of decoration on all the areas of garment should have compatible angles print of different areas such as sleeves pockets should be aligned shape and the length of sleeve and bottom of hem of garment should be well aligned next rhythm a pleasing sense of organized movement that gives continuity to the design it can be created by repetition of embroidery laces or button gradation by gradually increasing or decreasing the size of motifs radiation also brought by gathers and darts the eye movement is in unorganized way next and the last we talk about emphasis it is the focus of interest in a particular area of a design which becomes the center of attraction it can be done by repeating the motifs it can be done by emphasizing uh, creating unusual lines 
can be done by contrasting colors by the placement of decoration. With this, we have finished our with 10th chapter. We are going to meet soon with the 11th. Till then, goodbye.